but the cry. With the world poised on the brink of war, vault is reporting a record number. But me. Folks, uh, it seems we, we've got some breaking news. Stand by. all over. No, I'm dry to forget about how much I care for you. We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Stand by. We do. We do have. We do have coming in confirmed reports of nuclear detonations. Soldiers were right. War. War never changes. Holy shit, that was amazing. I don't know about you guys, but I am such a big Fallout fanboy, and this this made my day. Like, I've been waiting for a new Fallout game for five years now, and it's finally happening. Let me know in the comment section how many of you guys are just as excited and happy to just to see this game finally come true. We do know that it is going to be set in Boston. There are a number of Boston landmarks. I'll get into those in a second here. I'm not going to be going through breaking down frame by frame of the trailer. It's just, it's so epic. We have Ron Perlman doing a voiceover. The music just sounds beautiful. The game looks amazing. Oh my god, it, I'm so happy right now. But I guess sort of getting into it. And honestly, one thing I kind of appreciate from Bethesda, this game, like, the graphics don't look amazing like you would see in some other games trailers and i like that because you know normally those other game trailers they're they're in-game engine or in-engine footage and it's not the actual real thing there's always a downgrade and this this actually looks like it's real gameplay something that we can actually play so i appreciate that they're not trying to trick us into anything i don't they don't need to trick us man it's fallout 4 but the level of detail it looks like they have looks incredible like if you see here if we look at the wall on the top right, it's indented. Like, the, the floor, too, it, like, it looks like it did get hit with the nuclear bomb. Also, I'm sort of wondering how the flashbacks factor into the game. I'm wondering if maybe we play as a character that's, you know, before the nuclear bombs went off. I was browsing Reddit, and somebody said that maybe you could play as the character and then hide certain items for the character you play as after the bombs went off. You gotta go find them. That'd be pretty neat, but I don't know if that'll happen but i can't wait to see how that plays into the game another thing you kind of notice with the trailer is that there are more colors like it's more vibrant than than some of the other fallout games like obviously fallout 3 had the green tint and then fallout new vegas had the orange tint over it. this one this one actually looks more realistic i guess you could say so getting into those boston landmarks that i was talking about this one we have here this is bunker hill and then the next thing we see is the uss constitution 
which is in the Boston Harbor. Here's another screenshot with what I'm assuming is Boston, like the, the city part in the background, and it looks huge. Like, I'm actually really excited to go <laughs> exploring all those buildings. Here we have a Deathclaw. Those are probably going to be really annoying <laughs> in the game. This next place here, this is another Boston landmark. This is Fenway Park. And uh, I'm actually wondering if they're going to do something funny because in Fenway Park, the, the wall that's in there is called the Green Monster. So I'm wondering if maybe uh, they'll throw some some you know cool monsters in there another landmark we have here is paul revere that's the statue and there's the giant uh floating blimp looking thing out in the background i'm wondering if we'll be able to like fly that that'd be pretty sweet but moving on this is apparently the state house with the prudential building i guess in the background but again it just looks beautiful and the city actually looks fairly big so that's really good to see and then finally to end off the trailer, you got the beautiful power armor with the bobblehead on the left, and then you got the Nuka-Cola poster on the right. And then what's actually kind of cool, you get there's the guns on the wall back there. So I'm wondering if maybe there's some sort of gun shop similar to what New Vegas had where you could sort of mod weapons. That'd be pretty sweet. I like that feature in that game, so I'm hoping it makes its way into Fallout 4. But guys, this, this has been amazing. Actually, one thing I did want to mention... And I, I mean, this isn't uh, official or anything, but Amazon.com, as well as I think GameStop, they put the placeholder date for December 31st, 2015. So normally, I mean, it's not going to come out on December 31st. Like I said, there's a placeholder, but it's 2015 and not like March 31st of 2016. So this game might be coming out this year, which is even crazier to think because... Oh my god, it's just been so long and I cannot wait. Hope you guys are like super excited because I, once this game comes out, I am going to be playing it non-stop. Like you're not going to see me <laughs> for a while. So it's going to be a good time. Hope you guys have a good time as well. Let me know in the comment section if you guys found anything in the trailer that I didn't talk about. But as always, it's your boy Saints, man. I'm out. Peace. It's all over. But the crowd